Hi, Karina. Good evening. Hello, Omar. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good How evening. are you, Omar? <laughs> I'm very happy. Okay, <laughs> for that's this good. Class. Yeah, you are always happy. Huh? That's good. I, I, congratulations for that. Okay, you are always, always happy with a big smile. That's good. Hey, Ceci is here too. Okay, hi, Ceci. Hi, teacher. How was your morning and your afternoon? Fine. <laughs> I, I need something. Ah, okay, what do you need? Uh, now I'm working, so oh, I, okay. I want to be in class, but, but I... <laughs> need to. Yeah. Oh my God! You you need do my homework. Yeah, my yeah, work. it's true. It's true. Okay. Yeah, but so maybe, uh, can I be? You can. I want you can to be, be yeah. in the class, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I can't particip participate. Of course. Or, Don't worry. Uh -huh. I'm not gonna because, ask. You uh, only I'm. Okay. You can <laughs> only listen, right? I'm going to to listen. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. Very good. Please. Okay, that's uh -huh. great. Thank okay, you. thank you for letting me know, okay, because that's important, okay? okay. That's it, okay, very nice. Thank you. Okay, Xiaomi is here too, okay, we are okay for already. Okay, thank you guys for joining the class tonight. Okay, this is um, what well, tomorrow is the last day of classes, so today practically we're going to finish, okay, talking about uh, the topics that we have in the sections. Tomorrow we are going to, okay, work on the platform. We are going to do some exercises together. Okay, just in case you haven't done some exercises, I can assist you, okay. Um, in this case for having, okay, your problem solved related to your uh, exercises in the platform, okay. So uh, that is tomorrow. Today we are going to, okay, um, discuss the topic about Okay, given in this case, the topic that I told you yesterday, we started yesterday the topic of, uh, you know, making excuses, okay? Then yesterday also we practiced this conversation, right? Uh, you practice the conversation with your partners and then um, we, uh, well, we finished the class with this, right? Today we are going to move over this topic, okay? We are going to talk about messages, okay? And we are going to learn, okay, how to give and receive messages, right? Using the verbs tell and ask, okay? This is the last topic we have in the section five. And some of you have uh, uh, written to me, okay, telling me that, you have problems with this topic. So uh, I have been, you know, I was uh, helping some of you and some other people I recommended to, to wait for this class. So because the idea is to learn and do the exercises, okay, but you're on, okay, not just giving you the answers for each exercise, right? So we are going to start with this because we have to practice a lot, okay, with your partners. And this is, uh, yesterday we did this exercise, you know, it was uh, related to uh, a secretary and Mr. Kale, okay, in an office, right? Uh, yesterday you practiced this in pairs and you used your own information, okay? You did this, exer uh, this exercise, right? Um, I remember you were working in pairs and you were spelling last names, okay, giving a personal information here and giving a message. I'm going to play the, the audio once again so you can listen to the audio because then we have the exercise B, okay? In the exercise B, it says here, listen to three other calls. You have to write in your notebooks or in a piece of paper in your house, write down the caller's names, okay? They are going to spell names. This is to refresh your memory, okay, for spelling. Okay. So I'm going to play uh, the audio, the first audio, okay, the conversation.
let me hear, I'm gonna share the computer audio and then. Part A, listen and practice. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello, may I speak to Ms. Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Is that G-A-L-E? No, it's K-A-L-E. All right. Please tell her our meeting is on Friday at 2.30. Friday at 2.30. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 646-555-4031. 646-555-4031. Yes, Mr. Kale. I'll give Ms. Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, this was the conversation, okay, we, we did yesterday, and now we are going to do the second part, okay? Ready, guys? This is a listening exercise. Please write the name, okay, of the three colors that you're going to, okay, listen. You're about to listen to three people calling. Write down the names, okay? Let's see. Page 102, exercise 7, part B. Listen to three other calls. Write down the callers' names. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello, may I speak to Ms. Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, this is Tom Lee from the Beijing office. Can you ask her to call me back? She has the number. Of course, Mr. Lee. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello, is Ms. Graham there? I am afraid she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, this is Susan Brown. Please have her call me back as soon as possible. The number is 846-555-9037. Yes, Ms. Brown, I'll give her the message. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hi, is Mom there? This is Kelly. Oh, hi Kelly. How's it going? Pretty good. Listen, your mom isn't here right now, but I'll tell her you called. Okay. Okay, I'm going to play the audio once again, the second time, and then I will ask you for the answers, right? This is what you have to do for the people who just joined us. You have to listen to this uh, conversation and you have to write down the callers' names, names and last names, okay? Just in case they give you the, the, the last name. Page 102, Exercise 7, Part B. Listen to three other calls. Write down the callers' names. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello, may I speak to Ms. Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, this is Tom Lee from the Beijing office. Can you ask her to call me back? She has the number. Of course, Mr. Lee. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello, is Ms. Graham there? I'm afraid she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, this is Susan Brown. Please have her call me back as soon as possible. The number is 846-555-9037. Yes, Ms. Brown. I'll give her the message. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hi, is Mom there? This is Kelly. Oh, hi, Kelly. How's it going? Pretty good. Listen, your mom isn't here right now. But I'll tell her you called. Okay. Okay. After this conversation, okay, let's see the number one. Okay. Um, Yader. Hi, Yader. Good evening. Can you hear me, Yader? Um, no, entendí, teacher. 
No, you didn't listen to the names. Tiene que escribir los nombres de las personas que llamaron, ¿ok? Only the names. Oh, uh -huh. Mr. Mr. Lee, Susan uh -huh, Brown. Mr. Lee, number Susan two. Brown, Susan, Susan Brown. Susan Brown, and the number three. And Kelly. Kelly, Kelly. Oh, ok. Very, very good. Ok, Mr. Lee, Susan Brown, and Kelly. Ok, very good. That's it. Thank you, Yadir. Ok, very good. So, in this conversation, you see, you could listen to people, ok, um, Uh, taking a message and the other person was leaving the message, okay? So, aquí es donde se han venido dando duro en la plataforma, right? Okay? But this is the answer. No les he contestado algunos porque pues ahorita lo voy a explicar, okay? So, uh, in English, guys, we have uh, two verbs, okay, where we can leave a message. Tell and ask. You have to use Tell when the message is a statement, is a sentence. You use tell when the message is a statement, is a sentence. Example, the meeting is on Friday or there is a party next Saturday. Decirle a Karina que hay una fiesta. Okay, so... Hay una fiesta el sábado is not, a, um, a, well, in this case, it's a sentence, okay? So, you have to pay attention to the sentence in this case. If it is a sentence, you have to use tell. If the message starts with a verb, you don't have to use tell. You have to use ask, okay? This is the basis. This is something that you shouldn't uh, forget. If the message is a statement, it's a sentence, subject, verb, and complement, you have to use tell. If the message starts with a verb, it's a request, so you have to use ask, okay? Con tell, no se ocupa tú, ¿ok? Please, remind, keep this in mind. With tell, you are not going to use tú. You have to use tú when you use the verb ask, ¿ok? So you have to separate it, ¿ok? Aquí me lo van a separar, aquí. Y dice, eh, for example, empecemos con tell. In parentheses, you have that. This is optional. If you want, you can say that. Or if you don't want to, well, you cannot say that. Okay? So, the statement, so el, el mensaje le dijeron, la reunión es el viernes. So, usted tiene tres formas de dar el mensaje. Okay? De dejarlo. Please... Could you or would you? The three of them are okay. Number one, please tell her that the meeting is on Friday. Lo único que va a hacer usted es agregar esta estructura, ¿ve? Please tell, ahora, el her, ¿de dónde salió el her teacher? Bueno, ahí porque el mensaje es para una mujer. Si el mensaje fuera para un hombre, por ejemplo, Carlos, entonces dijera, please tell Carlos that, or please tell him that, ¿ok? Y después vuelve a repetir el, el la oración. The meeting is on Friday. Please Tell Carlos that there is a party tomorrow night. Or, please tell Carlos there is a party tomorrow night. So you see, if you want to use that or not, that's up to you. Second one, could you, this is a little bit, uh, you know, kinder. Could you tell Carlos that there is a party tomorrow night, okay? Could you, could you? 
So look at this. This is something important. Con tell, si se fijan, usted me tiene que poner un punto al final. La plataforma es bien, bien rigurosa. Si usted no me le ha puesto el punto, pueda que ni siquiera le salga buena la oración. Y usted dirá, ah, teacher, but come on, ok. Porque la plataforma es escrita, ok. So you have to pay attention to the punctuation, ok. So, con tell, usted me le va a poner un punto. Pero cuando esté usando, could you tell, would you tell, you have to use a question mark at the end. Don't forget that. That's very important. When you use could and would, could you tell, would you tell, you have to use a question mark at the end. If you use the first structure, please tell her that you have to use a period. Okay? This is related to um, uh, statements. Okay? Statements. So, what about the other one? For request. Okay, for request, you have to use ask. So, for example, cambiémosle aquí. Do the platform. Do o complete. Complete the platform. Es el mensaje que yo les quiero dar. Complete the platform. Ese mensaje con que empieza. ¿Con, ¿Es una oración o es, empieza con un verbo? Oh, teacher, y the message starts with a verb. Ah, ok. Entonces, ahora, ¿cómo dijera yo? Por favor, pídale a Joana, ok, que complete la plataforma. So, that would be, please ask Joana to complete the platform. When you use the first one, please, you have to use a period at the end because it's not a question. In the other part, okay, with could, could you ask and would you ask, you have to use, in this case, a question mark, okay? So, the same, complete the platform. Es el mensaje para Joana. So, please, ask Joana to complete the platform. Could you ask Joana to complete the platform? Would you ask Joana to complete the platform? Ok. Y miren ahora si doy un mensaje con oración. The platform is a view Friday 20th, example. The platform is due to Friday 20th. So here, please tell Joanna, the platform is due uh, uh, Friday 20th. Si usted quiere decir that or not, it, this is up to you, okay? So remember that in this case is optional, okay? The platform accepts with that or without, okay? But please be careful with punctuation. That's it. So other thing, this is very important. If it is a statement, please use tell. If it is a, a, the, the, the message starts with a verb, you have to use ask. Ok, y me le va a poner al final aquí el tú, ok, y el nombre de la persona en medio. Ask Eduardo tú, ask Hugo tú, ask Karina tú, ask her tú, ask him tú, because this is a request. And this is a statement, so that's why you have to use tell. Con tell, no me le vaya a poner el tú. Okay? That's it. This is when you uh, are uh, living 
a message, okay? This is when you are leaving a message. Is there a question or comment with this topic? No questions, Edgar? No, teacher, no, no, teacher. that's okay. Okay, very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. me, me cuesta un poco, teacher. Okay. Look at this. I'm going to write examples, okay? That's it. Uh, that's it. Aquí hay dos tipos de mensajes. El primer mensaje es una oración. The class has been cancelled. Y la segundo mensaje, eh, ¿por qué no digo que es una oración completa? Porque no tiene sujeto, sino que empieza con verbo. Haciendo el recordatorio, cuando es una oración, usted va a decir tell. Cuando es, empieza con verbo, usted va a usar la estructura del ask. Tell no lleva tú. El que lleva tú es ask. ¿Ok? Si va a usar la primera, que es please, pues va a usar un punto al final. Y si va a usar could you o would you, usted tiene que usar un question mark, ok? So, vamos a ver la primera. I'm going to give, this is the message, ok? It's a statement, ok? Hugo, are you there, Hugo? Uh, yes. Ok, Huguito. Déjeme este mensaje en inglés a mí. Y invéntese a quién quiere que se lo dé yo. ¿Cuál va a ser, Hugo? ¿Va a ser el del statement o va a ser el del request? Usted escoja el mensaje. El de, del statement. Ok, very good. Usted escoja también cómo quiere sonar. Si dice please, si dice would you or could you. Ok, no problem. Eh, please tell eh, uh -huh. Joanna that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That. Uh, the, class has, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the class has been cancelled. Exactly. Uh -huh. Very good. That's it. Mire, y period. ¿ve? Uh. Si usted no me lo pone el punto en la plataforma, puede ser. Ahora, cuando usted habla en inglés, well, no problem. Okay, when you speak, you don't have to use periods, commas, or whatever. Okay, very good. Now, Huguito. Please um, leave the message, uh, and the message is a request. Okay. Empieza con un verbo. Entonces, ahora vamos a usar qué verbo. Uh, please ask. Uh -huh. uh, please ask. Joana to uh -huh. at um, Joana, to Seri. Uh -huh. to? Joana to at to Seri. Ok, mire aquí el que tengo aquí, Hugo. Call Ju uh, Juan ah, Pac. Uh -huh. yeah. Sorry, please, sorry. Ok. Please at eh, Joana to Joana to uh -huh. Go ahead, you have to repeat this, the, 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 the request. Okay. Ponga el verbo. Uh, mm -hmm. please, please ask Joanna, Joanna to, to call. Mm -hmm. To call. Call uh, on Friday. No, este es, mira, el que tengo aquí en la pizarrita. Call Juan back. Ah, okay, okay. Call Juan back. Okay, that's it. Very good. Le llamé de regreso, dice, por favor. Ok. 
That's it. Ask Joanna to call one back. That's it. And period. ¿Por qué pongo a period? Porque usé el please. Ok. That's okay. it. Ok. Very good. Thank you very much. Ok, Hugo. Ok. This is one example. Ok. With this. Ahora, si se fijan, después del that, ¿qué hice yo? Solo copiarlo. Lo mismo. ¿eh? Después del el to, en el caso de ask, ¿ve? Solo copié el mensaje. Ok. That's it. This is one example. I'm going to give you other examples, okay? I'm going to write other message in this case, okay? So I will need two volunteers, uh, one volunteer to do this, okay? Let me see. Mm. Lo que dice el presidente, ¿ve? Stay home. Ok. I have two messages. The number one is a sentence and the number two is a request because it starts with a verb, ¿ok? That's it. Do I have a volunteer who wants to practice right now? My mom is sick and the second one is stay home. Please, mm -hmm. please mm -hmm. tell... My brother that my mom is sick. Please tell my brother, okay. That uh -huh, my that, mom is sick. Uh -huh, very good. My, my mom is sick. Okay, very good. ¿Qué pasaría si quiero usar el, el would? A good. Sería. Uh -huh. Would. would Will tell my brother. Can you repeat, please? Yes. Will you tell? Excellent. Would you tell? My brother. Mm -hmm. That my, my brother. Sick. That my. Mom is sorry. sick. My mom is sick. Like this. Ah, uh, interrogation. Question mark. Uh huh. Question mark. Question That's mark. Okay. Exactly. Y cuando tú lo digas, vas a decir, would you, tell my mom, would you tell my brother that my mom is sick? With the okay. intonation as a question. Okay? Very good. Now, what about the other one? Stay home. ¿Cómo sería esta? Okay? Use, please, uh, use, could. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sería, could, eh, could ask home. Can you repeat, please? Could so ask home. Se, se comió este, mil. Could you. Ajá, exactly. Uh, okay. Could, could you. Could you. Stay home. Eh, pero le va a dejar un mensaje a alguien más. A su uh -huh. hermano. Uh -huh. Ok. Could, could you? Could you, my brother? Could you? ¿Qué oh. verbo se está comiendo? Se está comiendo el verbo. Stay. Principal. Ajá, ok. Could, could you? No, eh, el verbo donde va la estructura. Ask. So es, ajá. What is the ask, verb? Sí, ask, ask. ask. Ok, so, could you ask? Could you ask my brother? Uh -huh. My um, brother. That stay. Uh, uh, to no. to uh -huh. stay home. Excellent. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. Could you ask my brother to stay home? Finish. Like this. Okay. Así está bueno. O question, algo falta. Question, ah, question. question mark. Excellent. Okay. Question mark. Very good. Okay. Thank you very much. Could you ask my brother to stay home? Right. Can Podría pedirle a mi hermano que por favor se quede, ¿verdad? Ok, en casa. So, look, this is the stuff. Así como tuvieron esos deslizones así de decir el, el tel o no poner el tú o olvidarse del you, así puede pasar en los ejercicios, ¿ok? So, you have to pay attention, ¿ok? To this, close attention to this part. I have, a, this is the, the, the exercise That's what you have here in, 
in very black letters, you know, in very black letters, you have the structure. Please tell, ese hair, que les dije al principio, puede ser sustituido por my brother, Carlos, Juan, eh, Peter, I don't know. And, aquí también en el him, okay, so look, cuando empiece con verbo, usted va a usar un ask this structure, and you have to use to, ok, y de ahí es lo mismo, mire, call me this afternoon, call me this afternoon, call me this afternoon, what is the difference? With please tell her that, you have to use period, with could you ask him to, or could you tell her that, you have to use a question mark, ok, so, this is uh, the practice that I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, to ask you to do, okay? We are going to have these practices. I'm going to send these exercises to your WhatsApp group. And in pairs, I want you to, first, you have to put the words in order in order to make the correct uh, message, okay? Let's see. Accept the invitation, please, right now. And let's start working right now. Yes, please. Tell Help. Ryan. Tell mm -hmm. Ryan. Ryan. That. Uh huh. Pero that. Is it, pero is that, that the barbecue. O oh, uno de dos, verdad? That the barbecue is on Saturday. Pero that sería opcional, verdad? Ajá, dijo que no se ve, pero me imagino que lo lleva. Ajá. In this case, in this case, it's, it's, it's an obligation because it's here, okay? Okay. Ah. But if you don't want to mention it, don't say it, okay? Baby, you is mm -hmm. on Saturday. On Saturday, exactly. The number two? Sería... Could? Mm. Could you? Could you ask... Patrick? Ask. Patrick, call me. To call me. At mm -hmm. Call me. Mm -hmm. At 12. At 12. Mm -hmm. At 12. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Could you ask? Call me, call me, call me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Eh, to Patrick at 12, es verdad. 12, 12, at 12. At 12, ok. Bye. La tercera sería... Curjutel. Could you tell that is Amy the dance performance tonight? Después de could you, eh, después de la expresión could you tell, uh -huh. ¿verdad? Miren, acá les voy a enseñar este para que puedan verlo. Después del tell o después del ask. Uh -huh. Siempre va a ir la persona a la que usted le está dejando el mensaje. Uh -huh. No okay. puede decir, un ejemplo, no puede decir, could you tell that, 
porque entonces a quién le va a decir, mm -hmm. right? ¿ok? Ok. Arreglenme esa, por favor. Okay. Uh -huh. ok, sería, could you tell okay. Amy? Ajá. Uh Ajá. -huh. Is the dance, no, that, ¿verdad? Could you, could uh -huh. you tell that, Amy that? that? Uh -huh. Is the dance performance tonight? Uh -huh. Okay. Can you repeat that one? Could you, uh, could, sería, could you tell Amy, Amy that, that that the dance performance uh -huh. is tonight? Tonight. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Nice. Continue. Okay. Please. Number four. Would, would you tell Celia? Celia, that the pin is is the pin in the park. Hello, Patrice. Uh, Patrick. <laughs> la, ma la mandé aquí porque porque este ese sí no se no 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 está disponible para participar. Solo está escuchando porque uh, okay. está trabajando. Entonces ahí se va a estar con Caroline en Cari, ¿ok? Okay. okay. Uh -huh. Very good. Eh, eh, in what sentences are you? Um, El número dos. Number two, ok. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo les quedó la uno? Vamos a ver, let me check. Number one. Mm. Tell Ryan, Ryan that the barbecue is on Saturday. Ok, very good. Excelente. Uh, Could you ask Patrick to call me at 12? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Very good. Ok, continue, continue. Um, Vamos a ver la tercera. Um, could you, 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 that 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 Si no hacen que nos pregunten a ti. Of course, I'm going to ask Edgar, <laughs> the first, the first volunteer. No, no, no. What do you say, el elegido? The chosen. The chosen. <laughs> the chosen one. That's good. Okay, we finished. Oh, Are you finished the sentences? Okay, yes. very, very good. Can you? We are very good. One? Yeah, I see that. Uh huh. Good. Can you tell me the last the last sentence, please? The last. Mm -hmm. uh, este, este, to me, ya hablan. <laughs> please ask Jason to bring the tickets to the concert. Mm -hmm. Could you? Uh, la de la de arriba. Please oh, ask. Uh -huh. Very good. Ahí va punto, ¿eh? Period. Sí. Okay, very yes. good. Uh -huh. Number five, Edgar. 
uh, would you ask Noriko to meet me at the stereo? Uh -huh. Very good. Excellent. Number four is Xiaomi. Would you tell Cecilia that the picnic is in the park? Okay, Celia. Uh -huh. Okay, ni yo me entendí la letra. <laughs> okay, Elgar, number three. Uh, would you uh, 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 tell Amy? Hello? Me dice que se me trabó, pero. Ah. Are you are you fighting? Are you fighting with your dog? <laughs> no, no, no. Ya lo se lo saqué del cuarto. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, could you tell uh, Amy uh, that the dance performance is tonight? Ajá, uh -huh, okay, okay, okay. Could you tell Amy that the uh -huh, the dance performance is tonight? Ajá, uh -huh, and Y ahí iría una pregunta, ¿verdad? Yes. yes. Excellent. Question Number question mark. Two. Show me with the question mark. Could you ask Patrick to call me at 12? Uh -huh. Very good. That's it. Excellent. Okay. And the number one, Edgar, just to refer. Uh, please tell Ryan that the barbecue is on Saturday. It's on Saturday. Okay. Very, very nice. Okay. Uh, Edgar Aleida was telling me that you had problems in the platform with this. Yes, teacher. Pero I don't, I don't know. No sabía que era por un punto. A period, exactly. Yeah, okay. only yeah. the period. Yeah, the period was missing. This is important. Yeah. Okay. Eh, se preguntarán quizás por qué la plataforma es así. Fíjense que en inglés eh, la puntuación es muy importante cuando se escribe. O sea, ellos sí respetan comas, puntos, preguntas, símbolos de preguntas. Eh, uf, a lot, ¿ok? So, esos programas, pues, se hacen así, pues, también para poder, digamos, eh, como eh, en cierta manera acostumbrar, ¿verdad? Al, al que no es nativo, pues, a tener una buena puntuación. And what is the problem? In El Salvador, we don't use that. <laughs> Como sí. hay que escribir. Salvador, we, we don't care about punctuation, ok, lo pueden ver en los mensajes que deja la gente en Facebook o whatever unas cosas ahí tan feas que se ven, pero igual porque sí. y los teachers quizás de la escuela en español pues no nos dicen, mire, póngale punto póngale acento, o whatever so, that's why the platform is so, so demanding in that case ok Pero espero que ya con yes. esto pues ya les quede super. Okay. Yes. Very Thank nice. You. Okay. Very nice. We are going to uh, let me check the other guys if they finished, okay? And we're going to come back to the main session. Thank you guys. Okay. Please ask to mm. the concert. No, porque tiene que comenzar con please. Con please. Okay. Los ejemplos que ella puso las oraciones siempre empezaban con please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's ask Jason to bring. Come on, let's get the number six. Tell me. Please ask Jason to bring the tickets to the rocker concert. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. Very good. Y aquí cómo nos queda con pregunta o con punto. 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 Con punto. Very good. Period. Ajá. Uh -huh. Period. Excellent. Okay. Very mm -hmm. good. Eh, number five, ¿cómo nos quedó? Number five. Would you ask Nico, no, Nico, to meet me at the stadium? Okay, very good, with a question mark, right? Yeah. Excellent, very good. Number four. Mm. Number four. Would you tell Celia that the picnic is in the park? Uh -huh, uh -huh, very good. Va con, con pregunta o con punto? Con pregunta. Excelente. Ajá, uh -huh, question mark. Ok, very good. Number three. Could you ask? You tell. Um, you tell Amy that the dance. Oh, perdón. Ok, start. Start. Uh -huh. Could Can you please start? Could you? Could you ask? Uh, okay, pero ahí no está el ask. Could you tell Amy? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
Could you tell Amy? Amy? Uh, that, that the dance performance mm -hmm. is tonight. Okay, very good. Oh, I see. Could you could you tell Amy oh. that uh -huh, the dance performance is tonight? Very good. Y ahí pues va un punto o una eh, question mark. Question mark. Question mark. Excellent. Very good. Number two, please. Could you ask Patrick to call me at 12? Excellent. Very good. Question mark or period? Question. Question. Okay, very good. And the last one, the number one. Please tell Ryan that the barbecue is on Saturday. Okay, excellent. Very good. Period or question mark? Period. Period. Okay, very, very nice. Okay, nice. We're going to come back to the main session. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, guys, very good, very good practice. I could listen to some of you giving me the answers, okay, for this, uh, for this topic, okay. I'm going to ask for some volunteers, okay, quickly, okay, just to reaffirm that we have the correct answers for this one, okay. Andrea Marroquin, please give me number one. Edgar, please, number two. Okay, Karina, number three. Jader, number four. Okay, um, Joanna number five, Aleida number uh, six. Okay, that's it. Number one. Please, the Ryan. Mm -hmm. Ryan? That, uh, Ryan, that is the vertical on, on Saturday. On Saturday. Okay, can you repeat the sentence? Because I think there is something wrong. Okay, say, uh, Please. Please, the Ryan. Ryan. Ryan, that is the barbecue. Okay, on I used the letter. Okay, please tell Ryan that, y después de eso, no va a ir un verbo. Va a ser una oración. Entonces va, please tell Ryan that the barbecue, okay, the barbecue is on Saturday. Okay? Okay, okay. Va. Check it, please. Uh -huh. Number two. Other person, uh, please. Could you ask Patrick to call me at uh, 12? Very good. Uh -huh. Could you ask Patrick to call me at 12? Very good. This is a question mark. Okay. Number three. Could you tell Amy that the dancing perform is tonight? Mm -hmm. Very good. With question mark. Okay, very good. Number four. Could you tell Celia that the picnic is in the park? Okay, very good. Would you would you tell Celia okay that the picnic is in the park? Okay, very good. This is question mark too. Okay, number five. Will you ask, will you ask Noriko to meet me at the stadium? Mm -hmm. Very good. In this case, it's a question mark. O sea, denle en entonación de pregunta. Would you ask okay. Noriko to meet me at the stadium? Okay. Number six, Ali. Is Jason to bring the tickets to the rock concert? Okay, very good. This is not a, this is not a, a, a question. This is with Period. Okay. Very, very good. That's it. So this is a, with messages like this. Hay mensajes también que pueden ser negativos. Esto no está ahí en, uh, este es algo extra. Okay. Eh, but it's important. Por ejemplo, si le quieren dar el mensaje a alguien, no vaya a clases. Que no salga. Okay. Don't go out. So, usualmente acá, Con los mensajes negativos, okay? For example, it says here, I'm going to read this part, okay? In messages with a request, 
use the infinitive of the verb. Please ask her to meet me at noon, okay? Um, and in this case, está aquí viene el, el negativo. Look, in messages with negative infinitives, not goes before to in the infinitive. For example, could you ask him not to be late? No se diría, could you ask him to not be late? Okay. In este caso, for example, in this case, I'm going to I'm going to show you just quickly, okay, because of the time and I want you to do the other exercises. Okay. Cuando sean negativos, okay, for example, in this case, usted le dice don't smoke too much, el doctor. Viene el doctor y le deja un mensaje y le dice, mire, dígale a, a Pedro que no, no fume demasiado. Ah, yo le digo. De ahí viene la mamá, ok, y le dice a Pedro, mira, dijo el doctor que no fume. So, don't smoke too much. This is the message. ¿Cómo voy a dejar ese mensaje en English? So, but it's negative. Look, it's negative because it says don't, ok. So, you have to do like this. Um, Please, okay, ask, example, Peter, not to smoke too much. Look, esto es lo que quiero que haga. El not, dice la regla, va antes del tú, no después. Okay, other example. Don't eat a lot, Aleida. Don't eat a lot. So, it says here, could you ask Aleida not to eat a lot? Okay, that's it. There we have in negative, okay, when the uh, request is in negative, okay? Don't eat a lot. Could you ask Aleida not to eat a lot? Okay, don't smoke too much. Please ask Peter not to smoke too much. Okay, this is when the request is negative. Okay, don't, um, uh, for example, let me see, don't drink and drive. That's it, okay? That's it, one volunteer, Omar. Can you please do this exercise for me? Yes, of her teacher. Okay, uh, Omar, in negative. In question, question. Question uh, or, question. Mm -hmm. that's okay. it. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Could you, no, mm -hmm. would you? Would, okay, very good, would you? Would you ask? Would you ask uh, Marco, mm -hmm. Marco, not to drink mm -hmm. and dry? Excellent. Very good. And the question mark at and the end. Question mark at the end. Okay. Excellent. Thank you very much, Omar. Would you ask Marco not to drink and drive? That's it. So this is the negative. Cuando se encuentren con un negativo. Okay. So. Why am I telling you this? Because the exercise that I have here is with this one. So we're going to use together, okay? The exercise number one says, please, uh, the message, uh, Patrick, uh, we don't have classes tomorrow, please. Si se fijan aquí en la número uno, esta no comienza con don't, no, comienza con we. So es una oración, así que no le tengan miedo, solo la va a repetir. Please tell Patrick that we don't have classes tomorrow, ¿ok? Con las oraciones, no problem. Mire la segunda. Call me tonight on my cell phone. Call me tonight on my cell phone. Este es un verbo, ¿ok? So, what is the answer for this? One volunteer, please, for the number two. 
Yes. Would you tell? Would you tell? Anna. Anna. Mm -hmm. Podemos usar el that, sí, verdad. Would you tell Anna mm -hmm. that call me tonight? Would you tell Would you Anna? Tell mm -hmm. call Ahora, me tú, tú estás usando eh, tell, ¿verdad? ¿Verdad que sí? sí? Ok. Pero si se fija acá, el mensaje mm. comienza con verbo. ¿Y qué verbo voy a usar cuando el mensaje empieza con verbo? Es un request. Call. Ask. 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 Bien. Ask. Ahí quiero que me le pongan atención. Ok. No todos van a ir con tel. ¿Cómo va a ir con tel? Cuando la, sea una oración normal. Pero cuando vea que empiece con verbo, usted va a usar ask. Ok, so aquí le cambiamos tel y le ponemos ask. Ok, would you ask Anna? Uh -huh. Continue. Would you ask Anna? Tú. Uh -huh. Not tú. Tú. Uh -huh. To call me tonight. To, to call, call me tonight. tonight. Excellent. Uh -huh. That's it. Very good. Miren. Ahora, como es pregunta... Uy, se me fue aquí. Tonight. Ok. Como es pregunta, pues, pues le ponemos. Right? That's it. Would you ask Hannah to call me tonight? ¿Por qué usé este, teacher? Porque no la entendí. Porque empieza con... Uy, con verbo, look. En cambio acá no empieza con verbo. Por eso uso tell, ¿ok? Look at the number three. The concert on Saturday is cancelled. The concert on Saturday is cancelled. Cancelled in this case puede ser con una L o con dos L, ¿ok? No problem. So, esta es una oración. Sí, es una oración. Y quiero que usen would. ¿Cómo sería? One volunteer, please. Uh, uh -huh. Yes. Would you tell, would tell you Alex? Tell, ajá, uh -huh, Alex. That the concert on Saturday is canceled. The concert on Saturday is canceled. Canceled. Excellent. Okay. In this case, question mark or period? Period. 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 Question mark. Question mark. Not Excellent. Question. Okay. Porque empieza con would you. Mm -hmm. That's yes. it. Mm -hmm. That's it. Is cancelled. Excellent. Okay. Very good. Would you tell Alex that the concert on Saturday is cancelled? Porque usted tell once again because this is a sentence. Okay. Look at the last one. Esta es... No es una oración con, así de sujeto, verbo, predicado. Es un request. But the request is in negative. Don't forget to return the book to the library. Yes. Don't forget to return the book. So this is negative. So what is the, how would you leave the message? One volunteer, please. Would you ask? Mm -hmm. Could. Uh -huh. Could you ask? Could you ask Sarah? Not, Sarah? Mm -hmm. Not to forget. Excellent. Uh -huh. Not to forget. Mm -hmm. Not to forget. Not to forget to return the book to the library. Mm -hmm. At the end, uh, use que uh, the question mark. Question mark. Okay. Very, very, very good. That's it. Okay. So, could you ask Sarah not to forget to return the book to the library? Okay. Very good. This is, okay, when you give, okay, leave a message, okay, in this case, with negatives, okay? I think 
in the platform, as I said before, we have positive, right? Positive sentences. The idea, guys, is to learn. Remember, this is not just like leaving messages in positive, but also you can leave a message using negative, okay? In this case, a request, okay? Starting with verbs, okay? Questions, comments? So far, everything is clear, more or less. Hugo, questions? No, no, no? it's okay. That's okay, okay, very good. Recomendación, en la parte, en el video, en la plataforma, en el video, le dan también la parte gramatical, okay? Fíjese cómo va, please Tell, después de tell, el nombre de la persona y me le pone el that. Si no, pues no me le ponga that, it is optional, ¿ok? Después del ask, no me le vaya a poner that. Se pone la persona y después va el tú, ¿ok? Something very important, not to forget the period or the question mark, ¿ok? That's it. So, my friends, uh, practically we finished today with uh, topics from the platform, okay, section number five. Tomorrow we have the last class. Tomorrow we are going to work in the platform, okay? We are going to do some exercises, okay, uh, together if you have questions related to the to the platform, okay, with the final exam, with the midterm exam, etc. okay? Um, the idea is to complete the platform and have all the exercises in color green. Sometimes it's frustrating if you see, you know, something in color red, okay? So if you have some exercises left uh, that are uh, with a mistake, let me know, okay? Tomorrow I'm going to be, okay, solving, you know, problems and um, giving you feedback, okay, related to the exercises in the platform. Thank you very much for joining the class tonight, guys. I will see you tomorrow, okay? Everybody ready with your platform, okay? Because I want to see if you have been working in the platform. Thank you for joining, okay, the class. Have a Thank great you, night, everybody. Okay, take care. Bye, Good Edgar. Night. Bye. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye. Good, Good night.